the RC Fitness shoulder workout. First, we have our seated shoulder press. When we're performing the shoulder press, I like to bring the elbows down to about a 90 degree angle, a little bit below shoulder height, and go into the press. Some people say don't tap above your head. I like to aim to get the dumbbells pretty close to each other when you are performing the reps in a controlled fashion. The seated dumbbell isolated shoulder press. Now with this, you're gonna take the first arm and perform two shoulder presses on this one. Then after you perform two shoulder presses on one arm, you perform two shoulder presses on the opposite arm. Then after you perform two on each arm, you're gonna do four with both arms simultaneously, or both arms at the same time. And that basically completes one rep, and you will complete that five times again. The prone incline front dumbbell raise. Now with this exercise, you're gonna lean against an incline bench, which is about a, at about a 45 degree angle. And from there, you're gonna make sure you brace yourself so your body does not rot back and performing the front raise with the dumbbells, you're gonna raise in a twisting motion where the dumbbells come up in front of you. And I like to tap in a controlled fashion. Top, not where it bounces too hard, but at least where you have to control the form instead of just swinging it up there, controlling and twisting with your palms facing down at the top of the exercise. Okay, again, start with your palms facing in and at the top, your palms will face down for the front shoulder raise. The resistance band reverse delt pulses. Now with this exercise, you're gonna tie two resistance bands around like a pole or squat rack like you see here. And you're gonna go take the opposite hand to the opposite resistance band. And from there, you're gonna open up into the reverse fly motion. Basically with your palms facing in towards each other. Act like you're kinda like hugging a tree when you're doing the reverse pulses as you see. Your arms and how far apart they should be. From there, you're gonna pull from the back of your shoulders. Try not to rock back when you're doing this reverse delt pulse. Again, as you try not to rock back, keep your core stable, let the upper body do all the work. People tend to sometimes, you know, lean back you see them leaning back almost like they're doing kind of like a sit up when they're doing the movement. No, you want to stabilize yourself and keep yourself prone and pull from the back of those shoulders. You want to pull all the way back to where you pull back to where your hands come about aligned with your shoulders or at least about right in front of it. And you do it contracting those rear delts as you can see right here with the motion. the inverted isolated shoulder press. Now, with this exercise, you're gonna need the shoulder press machine that is at an incline. And from there, you're gonna face the opposite way and put your chest on the bench. As you see here, <clears throat> from there, make sure you kind of straddle the bench. And you can also use resistance bands as you see here if you want to um, make it a little bit more challenging for the exercise, but that is an option. From there, you're gonna go into the shoulder press position. Again, I like to bring those elbows up, either aligned with the shoulders or slightly above the shoulders. And then from that position, you extend one arm all the way out, isolate that one, and then with the other arm, you're gonna perform the reps for one arm. Again, like I said, you're isolating basically here the arm that you're doing the pressing motion with. And you will do 10 reps on one arm 
as you can see my other arm is fully extended out in the prone position and then after you complete 10 reps on one arm you will basically switch arms and provide 10 reps for the other arm The kneeling ISO shoulder press. Now here we are performing the kneeling ISO shoulder press using the upright machine which is really intended for your back but we modified the machine to use it for the kneeling ISO shoulder press. Now with this exercise you can just use a barbell sometimes you can just take a barbell put one end in a corner to brace it and you can use this exercise in the same fashion with that barbell. Now with this one what we're doing is we're in that kneeling position and you're gonna perform eight reps on one arm. Again that elbow this time is more in front of you compared to when you're doing your normal shoulder press. Again you're still gonna bring it back down to about a 90 degree angle. I go about slightly aligned with the shoulder if not slightly below. Now, with this exercise, again, you want to try not to use your legs. A lot of people tend to use their lower body when the weight gets heavy, and you'll see them kind of squat back and then press forward with it. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you're using only your upper body, your arm movement. And you see here, you bring the arm down to that 90 degree angle and press all the way through with the motion. rope front cable raises now with this exercise you're going to use the cable machine and attach the rope attachment as you see here from there I like to take a couple steps out away from the machine put my feet about shoulder width apart and I like to keep my core tight and on this exercise I use the hands pretty close if not almost touch you don't want them touching but pretty close like a couple inches apart and from there you're going to direct the movement up pulling from your shoulders and what I see a lot of people do wrong on this exercise normally they will add a lot of swing in there where they start to use the hips to help thrust up the, the rope you want to make sure you try to eliminate that as much as possible and only control it from the upper body movement now I like to use this exercise as a finisher or a burnout. So as you see here, it says AMRAP. So that is basically as many reps as possible. So what I like to do is get that weight and for like five sets, perform as many reps as possible for five sets before compromising form, so before rocking or using too much of your lower body in the movement.